I am a convicted felon, guys. I will be honest with you guys. I'm not proud of it. I got in big trouble when I was 19. First time I ever got in trouble, too. I've definitely learned my lesson. Yo, it's your boy Pickle, and I'm back with the Boss Man Jack. Now I'm back again with more breaking news. The boss Man Jack is in jail. It's over. Now shout out to the Kiwi Farms. That's where I found this info. I was going through the thread on Boss Man Jack when I stumbled upon the post by Volcal Supreme. Why is he in jail, you may ask? Well, he was arrested for drug possession and assault and battery of a family member. He's currently in custody at the Central Virginia Regional Jail. Same jail Christian was in after he banged his mom. Is there something in the water in Virginia? Or what? Anyways, here's my theory of uh, what might have happened that day. And this is all theoretical. There's, there's no proof as of yet of what actually happened. So if you remember my previous video, Austin lost the uh, shuffle sponsorship. No, me and, um, it's not, it's actually not supposedly the reason. But uh, me and uh, Shuffle are moving our parting ways on good on good terms. Luckily for him, they decided to give him a parting gift, ten thousand dollars. If you watch my video, you know what happened to these ten thousand dollars. If you didn't see my video, I mean, it's easy to guess what happened. He lost it all. Oh, yo! I just won big. <laughs> yo, I'm all fat as fuck, bro. Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! Oh my god, bro! Oh my god, dude! This has ruined my life, dude! I hate my life, bro! Oh my god! What car am I gonna get now? This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. That's okay. Things are gonna be okay. And worse yet, he lost them in BC Games Casino. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, he did it again. He took a parting gift of a casino, put it in another casino, and lost it all there. Anyways, after he had a very weird meltdown when he lost the 10k, where he basically said nothing, he was just twitching and just staring at the screen. Never seen that before. He proceeded to go have a meltdown in his Discord, posting this. You know, I've been sitting here trying to figure out what to, how to word this or what to say, but I can't do this anymore, guys. And, uh, you know, I tried for so long. I've been wanting to do it for so long. And I just, am, I'm done, man. And uh, I always loved you guys, man. But the harassment all the time and the f hate and the f bullying and the f losses and gambling and the drug addiction. And everyone hates me. I just I don't want to do it anymore, man. And, I don't know, man. I just can't do it anymore. So, love you guys so much, man. And, uh, I hope you guys, uh, I don't know. I wish you guys all the best, man. I really mean that, man. I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then proceeding to delete his Discord general. And these are the facts. Now comes the theory. What probably happened is he had a complete meltdown at his parents' house. Now, mind you, his brother had been staying there for a little bit. But what must have happened is Bossman Jack just freaked the hell out and probably started getting aggressive and raging and mad as hell and started being physical with one of his family members his dad, his mom, his brother, all of them? I don't know. Anywho, at some point the cops must have been called and uh, booked him in. So he got booked at 5.20pm uh, Central. Now moving on to his charges. He's being charged with a class 5 family drug possession and class 1 misdemeanor for a battery on a family member. Now, class 5 felony drug possession in Virginia carries a sentence of 1 to 10 years in prison or confinement in jail for up to 12 months and a fine of up to $2,500 either or both. Battery and assault on a family member being a class 1 misdemeanor can get you a sentence of up to 12 months in jail or a fine of up to $2,500. Now what we shouldn't forget is that uh, Austin here is still on probation until August 2025 from his previous arrests. So he's looking at five years in prison on top of these new charges. This is pretty bad. It's a pretty bad outlook. Especially for us rats who love to make content on Austin. If you don't know and you're wondering what Jack did back in 2014-2015, here it is in his own words. The little bonus of uh, Jack pissing and moaning because the trolls keep reminding him of uh, what he did. I was on the front page of the f***ing newspaper for f***ing stealing out of f 
cars. I wasn't raised like that at all. I I became such a piece of shit, dude, that I started stealing to support my habit, bro. I hung out with the wrong people, and karma bit me in my ass. Karma bit me so hard in the ass, and I deserve every bit of it, and I'm still not the same. I will never be the same again after I got arrested for stealing out of cars, dude. Innocent people's cars, bro. I am not like that, bro. At all, man. And these motherfuckers trying to make me look like such a piece of shit, dude. Jail yeah, was pretty bad, man. I got pretty sad in there. I got really depressed in there. It was my first time ever. So where I'm from, they're pretty lenient on you. I did learn from it. That's right. Got your back. That's true. I definitely learned from it. It sucked, dude. It was very depressing. Everybody was depressed in there. I've never been arrested thinking, ever. Not one time, dude. Not one time, dude. I learned my lesson, dude. I've never been in trouble since then. If it's your first time getting in trouble, as far as felonies go, they're usually pretty lenient on you. Now, if you get caught a second time after getting a felony convicted, they're gonna throw years on you. I'll never go back to jail again. I'll never go back. I'll never go back. I'll never go back. No way. No fuck way. Uh uh. Nope. Hell no. I can actually break down, bro, but I think the medication I'm on doesn't even fully let me do it. I'm not kidding with you guys, bro. I used to fully be able to fucking let my emotions pour out, but there's like something in my fucking brain now that wouldn't fucking let me, dude. I'm trying to tell y'all something, bro. All these motherfuckers that ate on me, bro. Yo, you guys are so fucking fuck, man. I swear to God, bro, you guys are the fakest motherfuckers I've ever seen in my life. We live in such a fucked up world, man, and you live to down others and to deceive others. Deceive others? Are you fucking you kidding me? What is wrong with you? What have I done to you to make you so mad and angry and hateful towards me? That goes for so many of y'all. I'm not f***ing kidding, bro. I might be having a mental breakdown right now, but this is f***ing needed. If you guys don't cry every once in a while, there is something f***ing wrong with you. Let your f***ing emotions out sometimes. You f***ing pieces of shit. We live in such a f***ed up world. It pisses me the f*** off. I swear to f***ing God. Oh my f***. God, bro! You guys are so fucking lame! You guys know where I'm at! This is the biggest bullshit I've ever fucking seen! So yeah, all in all, things are looking pretty grim. One thing I can't wait to see and get my hands on is the body cam footage of his arrest. Luckily, people are already on the case, so hopefully it won't take too long. Now what is taking long is my 200k to zero video. I've had a lot of you asking, uh, Pickle, when is that thing gonna be done already? Listen. I'm a busy man, and the fact that Austin did all of this shit recently does not help. But I can promise you guys I'm working on it, and hopefully by this weekend it'll be out. Also want to thank all of you guys that have been liking the videos, subscribing, commenting, supporting my channel. Love you. Welcome to the Pickle Gang. Covering the Boss Man Jack is literally my foray into commentary. Covering lol cows, this is still new to me. If you guys have any suggestions, any criticism. I'm all ears. The content that I make is for you. So your input is important for me. Anyways, I won't take more of your time. Do drop down in the comments on uh, what you think is gonna happen to Jack. Is he gonna stay in jail? Is he gonna get bailed? Is he gonna go to prison? Is he gonna get away with it? I for one can't wait to know what's next for the boss man Jack. And this has been Pickle Time. See ya.